Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for the collective. So collective, only claim it from your higher self, for your higher good, and only for resonates. If it doesn't, don't force fit, sharing is caring. If you need to contact me for any reason at all, my information is in the box below how to do that. Nobody on my end will ever reach out. Whoever you are, wherever you are on this whole entire planet, shout out to you. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. We see you and acknowledge that, and we're very grateful. Whether or not anybody else has told you this today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. It's a fact, and it's unconditional. Could you please hit the like and subscribe? It's fun, it's free, it's entertainment purposes only, and it is the right thing to do. It's going to make you feel good because it's positive energy that you're expending into the universe that will reverberate back to you. We are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, prosperity in every form to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this clearing ground. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective. Collective, we are working with energy here, okay? It is fluid. Anybody can be resonating in any one of their planets at any time. Also, we are in the middle of a very heavy retrograde. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we can help somebody today, yeah? Yeah. Here we go. Show me. Show me. Okay. First of all, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now, okay? So those of you who are teeter-tottering on a fence where you don't know if you want to go left or right, make a clear decision so that you can align with the universe and the universe can bring you what it is that you want. Yeah? Yeah. Now, retreat. Some of you need to take a time out and maybe spend some time by yourself, maybe in nature, maybe with your pets. You know, it's time to disconnect from the world for a few minutes, all right? And by a few minutes, I mean any amount of time, okay? Maybe it's time to take some time to yourself, get off social media for a while, and just, you know, realign yourself. Show me. Somebody may be going on a honeymoon here, okay? Here, you go. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. See, so decide what you want. Take some time to yourself to retreat. Forget about what it is that you put your intentions out there and then trust that the universe is going to bring it to you because you're calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you guys together, okay? What else are we going to do here? Let's grab one or two of these and we're going to give, uh, I don't know if I'm going to throw down a Celtic cross or do it the other, the other way today. We'll find out. Give me one or two of these. I guess whatever the hands do, right? So here, somebody's about to get a truth, okay? There's some kind of truth. Somebody might have feelings for somebody. Somebody might be very sexually attracted to somebody. Somebody might be cheating on somebody. I'm getting a married couple and somebody's cheating and they're going to find out, okay? You have Aquarius energy. Somebody's about to get a truth. 22 or 4. Show me. Anything else? Anything else? Here we go. You have trust. So for, oh, what is that? Let me see. I can't see. 14 or 5. Somebody could be 41 here. All right. Um, yeah, somebody could be taking a bath together. Like, some, you and somebody might like to take a bath together. Somebody needs to... Somebody really either trust somebody or they're about to or they have to learn how to trust. Um, yeah. Let's see. Anything else? Anything else? All right. That's the end of these. You have surrendering. So somebody might be surrendering to their desires, surrendering to their feelings, surrendering to anything. Maybe it's just time to surrender to source, right? Show me. What's going on here today? What's going on here today for the collective? For the collective. All right, collective. You are in an energy of the page of wands. So you're free-spirited, enthusiastic, just living in the day, enjoying the moment, letting go, letting God, being very creative, original, carefree, put that fire in your chart a younger energy maybe you're dealing with a younger energy or even a child somebody needs to take a rest here recuperate contemplate the next steps forward okay heal the king of the four of swords is always about healing to me you got a king of cups in reverse cancer pisces or scorpio this is somebody who maybe wasn't very emotionally mature or available or loving or caring or kind even okay this person might have lied cheated been emotionally manipulative yeah show me Show me the foundation of this. What's the foundation? So somebody's in a, in like, not a very loving, caring energy right here. Somebody's, like, cold. Unaffectionate. Show me the foundation. At the foundation, you got the hermit in reverse. Somebody here, Virgo energy, might have some kind of, be very antisocial. This is a very antisocial energy. This is, like, a restrictive energy. Somebody who doesn't know how to, like, be around other people. Oh, this is, like, when you're in the, okay. Thank you, spirit and ancestors. 
the loneliest person in the the a room, the most crowded room. So like, it could be like the crap, the biggest crowd with all people around you, and that's when this person is the loneliest. Wow, that's somebody who just doesn't know how to. Yeah, show me. So Virgo energy now. You have every suit on the board. You have swords, wands. What is up with these cards? It's the retrograde. Show me the crowning. Maybe it's because I didn't ask. The crowning, the crowning, the crowning. Give me a crowning. Okay, I'm going to take them. You have some kind of su surprise and a shock. Something you don't see coming, okay? Something that, you know, spirit coming in to shake shit up and shake it down. It's going to change everything. It's just something that's going to be shocking to you. Somebody could be moving away. Somebody could literally be packing up and moving away, and this is what you're going to find out, and that's a shock. Maybe you're going to be doing this. Six of Swords talks about transition and moving on and accepting your lessons. You do have a Two of Cups poking at me over here. Okay, there might be some kind of reciprocated emotion. Somebody might be moving away because of a new relationship. Show me. Show me. All right. Temper. Somebody, ooh, somebody's really excited about this, okay? Somebody can't control themselves. They are so excited that they're moving away. If this is the person moving away, temperance here, Sagittarian energy, for some kind of new relationship to move over to calmer waters, someplace where it's going to be... You know, maybe where people don't know you so much and you could start all over again or something like this. You're going to shock the shit out of somebody here. Anyway, temperance in reverse. This is like an imbalance. Maybe feeling a little reckless. Don't be hasty. Don't lose your cool. You could be overexcited about this. Show me. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Taking a new, walking away and taking a new leap of faith. Somebody's about to take a new leap of faith, okay? Aries energy. And they're going to do this by moving away. This could be for a new relationship, okay? They're walking away to go find their ninth and 10th cup here, and they're going to take this leap of faith to go get it. Eight of cups. Show me. Yeah, look, there's a new emotional uh, awakening here. One card, please. One card. Thank you. Okay, this is going to make something very fair and balanced. Libra energy. So, like, if your love life is off balance... It's about to be bounced out. If you're a living situation, that's about to be bounced out. Anything that may have been, you know, hard for you to accept and move on from, whatever it is, or maybe losing your, you know, control over something here, it's about to be made fair and balanced. By you walking away and taking this new leap of faith here. You got Libra and Aries, Temperance is Sagittarius, Virgo, and Scorpio. Show me what's coming in here. You got to surrender. You mean surrender to love? Somebody's going to surrender to love. Yeah, there's a queen of swords. Using your head over your heart. Uh, being very, you know, diplomatic and independent. Very constructive and objective. Honest, a quick thinker. Knowing the truth. But using your head over your heart. There is a knight of pentacles. Virgo Capricorn of Taurus. So this is an offer coming in. It's just moving very slowly. It's going to be very solid. If it's a financial um, situation, it's growing slowly. But it's solid, okay? And it's trustworthy and somebody is putting the work in. Somebody's very clearly thinking, you know, how they're going to put the work in here. Or very clearly thinking about this offer that they're going to make. It's going to be very solid. Show me. Here we go. You have the night. Well, here they come. Okay. Some of you might be dealing with two people. Some of you might be dealing with somebody who has earth in their chart and someone who has fire in their chart. Okay? Because they look like they're about to have a standoff. Um, somebody might be trying to block this solid offer. Could be a player that's trying to do this. Maybe somebody that's... Could be somebody from your past, maybe that you, that you walked away from. To do this, to bring fairness and balance into your life. Clearly thought about it. Could be an air sign coming in with a solid offer here. Now, somebody... What did I just tell you? Could be somebody from the past. Somebody from the past tried to cop block. Okay. Somebody from the past is going to try to cock, clock, cock block. Jesus Christ. Cock block, whatever solid offer, somebody is clearly thinking about bringing you, okay? So don't let anybody from the past, people, situations, per people, places, and things, or if you're feeling nostalgic and sentimental about anything, get out of your head. It looks like you got a knight of wands, somebody with fire in there that wants to cock block any solid offer that, with their shenanigans, okay? Because the knight of wands is not solid. It's in for a good time, not for a long time. This person could be a Leo. This person could be pessimistic. This person could have Leo in their chart. This person could have a lack of enthusiasm. But, you know, here it is. It came in on the shelf as your advice. Be happy. Be positive. Turn this around. Let's put it upright. We want you, something could be illuminated. Something's about to be illuminated, all right? 
You could be dealing with somebody who's, you know, pessimistic here about you moving on. Yeah, okay? Show me. You got the Ten of Cups here at the bottom. That's really nice, right? There we go. Show me. Show me the outcome of this. So the outcome of this, people, is that you have Four Cups in Reverse, which is happiness. <laughs> it's coming to a clarity. This is acceptance. Acceptance about having to move on. The clarity brings in happiness, right? Because once you're clear on something and you can accept it, then you can become happy. So four of cups and upside down is definitely happiness, acceptance, clarity, and awareness. And then retreating. See? Retreating. Moving away. Okay, here we go. Now, you do have... Somebody wants to come back in from out of the cold. If you had any kind of financial ramifications, they're about to be rectified. If you left somebody out in the cold, somebody left you out in the cold, it's it's forgiveness for that and coming back in. Okay, now they want to work together with you. Teamwork makes the dream work. Or vice versa. You want to do this with them. Okay, maybe you have some kind of shared goals and collaboration. Somebody can be very defensive about this. You do have a... Hold on a second. Okay. Somebody can be very defensive about this. Somebody can be defending their home, their happiness, their love, their community, their family, something to celebrate. There is the king to the queen of swords here and some kind of truth coming out. Be strong, Leo energy. All right, that's it. Let's see. Let's get you some letters and we'll get you going today. I had a video for today uploaded last night. I, I put it on public, so now we had to do one for today. I guess there's no accidents. You have N and G. I'm hearing gone. Somebody's gone. Somebody's gone. Okay, you have W, V. Somebody has some kind of vice. Okay. W, V, G. Washington, West Virginia, I'm hearing. Washington and West Virginia. A, E, I, O. And the two ends. Okay. W, V, G, N, and Two N's. You got A, two E's, I, O, and I, O. All right, guys. Thank you. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.